Calvary One FingerTech foam wheels. They're cheap, they're really light, they're really inexpensive, they're durable, and their traction really isn't all that great. Um, they're pretty slippery actually. You get some dust on there and they just slip slide all around. So in this video, what I'm gonna show you is how to use some liquid latex, some little foam brushes to make your wheels go from zero to hero. Let's watch. So before we just go and slather some latex onto these wheels, let's first take a closer look at traction and what kind of affects it. I'm not gonna do too much of a deep dive into this, but we already know that weight distribution, the um, coefficient of friction of the tires, which is the thing that we're changing, and also how much downforce all play a factor in how much traction you're actually getting. So let's take Psychotic Brake version two, have a little test jig over there, and let's just kind of see what kind of pushing power this has with the standard wheel what it kind of pushing power has with a little bit of extra weight to simulate magnetic downforce, and then also with the latex on the wheels. So let's go over and look at the test setup. So here is the lovely test setup. I've got Psychotic Brake 2 on here. Um, I've got a scale just kind of rubber banded to a granite surface block. I have another granite surface block down here just as the drive platform for the robot. And so the idea here is I can just drive this into this scale and we can just kind of see what kind of force the robot is exerting against the scale basically how much pushing force it has then we can change variables like adding some weight so that we give some more traction to the back tires or adding some latex on the tires to give it a little bit more grip this is not really a definitive scientific test on how much pushing power the bot has but more of just kind of a representation of how different changes can affect how much pushing power. So um, yeah, let's kind of get a baseline and just see how much pushing power this has on its own without any latex and no extra weight on top. I should point out for this test, the weapon is disabled. I'm just pushing against the weapon just so there's a nice flat surface that we have against the scale. So let's push against it and see what happens. So I think the highest that I saw in here was about 600 grams, so what, like uh, 1.3 pounds, something like that. So let's just use 600 grams as kind of the baseline. So let's see what happens when we add a little bit more weight to this um, 123 block weighs exactly a pound, it's like 15.8, 15.9 ounces. So let's see what happens when we add it right over the center of mass of the wheels. So as you can see, this is adding a substantial amount of force into the wheels. Now, Psychotic Brake does have one, two, three, four magnet mounts, top and bottom, and I can get up to about two pounds worth of downforce. This is simulating what I have in just the um, two set of magnets up front. So let's see what that looks like. So I think the highest number that I saw is about 920, or somewhere around 900. So let's just call that 900. So that is a 50% increase in the amount of pushing power that this has just by adding a little bit of extra weight over the wheels, which of course helps them compress in and gain more traction. So let's take this same weight and move it further away from the wheels in the back and then further towards the weapon to see if we get kind of that same benefit. So let's start with it um, all the way in the back. Let me see if I can just kind of teeter it like that. Let's see, let's just do like that. Just do a little piece of tape. So this is all the way in the back now. So it's kind of almost balanced on the wheels. Let's see what that does. Whoa. So as you can see, this has significantly more force to it. I think it was like 11, 1200. I'll have to look back at the um, video, but definitely, okay, definitely over a thousand, which is pretty crazy. Now, if we take the same block and move it to the front where this is already pretty front heavy. So that's uh, pretty close to the weapon. Let's see what we get from there. Like 680, so almost 700. So this extra pound up front 
it really didn't add that much more traction. We were at 600 to begin with, now it's like 680, 700. So a relatively minimal improvement um, here was about a 50% improvement. Back here at the very back was almost double. I mean, it was like from 600 up to probably 1100 or so. So substantial improvement, but up front, uh, very, very minimal. So weight distribution matters a lot. So now, Let's add the latex. I'm using um, this stuff, liquid latex fashions. Um, really interesting stuff. I have a link for this on Amazon. It's relatively cheap, so pretty easy to use. So I'm just gonna pour this into a little plastic lid that I have. And this is, you know, all safe and everything. So just, you know, so you know for kids and whatnot. Um, it does kind of come out a little bit light gray and it will dry black, which is nice and handy. One little fun tip, if you are gonna use this on your skin, make sure any and all body hair is completely removed because it will be a pain when you um, take it off. Just a little pro tip. So I'm gonna turn this all on and then, so I'll just kind of drive the wheels like that as I brush it on. This really isn't that complicated. I use a little bit and then just kind of go on in um, several coats. I've seen a lot of people just kind of glob it on. I haven't really played with this enough to know what the best way to do it is. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. Probably do like maybe two more coats um, just to kind of see. And then we'll put it over here on the test and see what happens. So while this dries, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this. Here's a wheel that I did previously, you can see kind of shiny. You can hear that, it's pretty sticky. Um, it does kind of gum up with dust over time, so you might want to either clean it off or just have a large selection of wheels. These are so cheap that you could have several of these and just swap them out after every match. So um, yeah, that's nice. The other thing is durability. This latex will come off. You can sit there and kind of peel it. Um, I found that the longer you let it dry, the more durable it's going to be. So I prepared a lot of my wheels the night before the event and just kind of let them dry overnight. Here is what it looks like when the tread um, peels off. It kind of peels off in this rubber bandy type thing. And if I look at this wheel, I can probably find an edge. Yeah, there we go. You can kind of see what it looks like when it does peel. I mean, it's, it's on there pretty good, but it does peel off. And that's what it looks like. So I haven't really done a whole lot to see if there's a better way to get it to adhere so it doesn't pull off. But if you have a lot of um, lateral motion like that, if you um, get pushed, I found that it kind of comes up on the edges. So maybe coating around the edge or something like that would help. I really haven't played around with this a lot, um, but I know it does help on traction quite a bit. So yeah, kind of little pros and cons to that. Um, as terms of weight, it really doesn't add any weight. Um, I think I was measuring maybe a half a gram, maybe about a gram per wheel, depending on how many coats you put on there. So it's not really gonna throw off your weight that much. If you put on a ton and get like an eighth inch worth on there, yeah, it might add a gram or two, but it's really still not that much. Okay, so I've got the wheels all latexed up, as you can see. They're pretty tacky, and I also add a clamp to the uh, force gauge over here so we can kind of um, hold that in place a little bit better. So let's um, see how much force we're generating with the nice new latex wheels. Okay, so that is enough to push the granite block out of the way. I think the highest I saw was like, 2900 or something like that so quite a bit more let's um try that again and let's just see if we can push the whole granite block out yep <laughs> so it can very easily push this whole granite block out now to give you a little bit of a concept here uh, this is the granite block it is um quite large you know, granted there's Nothing really holding it down to the table, but we can very easily push this block out of the way. That's actually really surprising, so let's try that again. Yeah, 
yeah, so it was like 2.8 or something like that. That is pretty good. Um, so one final test, let's try it with a little bit of weight and maybe something back here to keep it from moving. So I've now added the weight um, over the line that my magnets would normally be on. So this would simulate the one pound um, worth of magnet downforce that I have. And then of course we still have the latex wheels. So let's give this a shot. Yep, we're at the outer limits of what the scale can handle. Um, I think this is, I don't really know what this scale is. Let's see. Is a 3,000, yep, so we're basically um, three kilograms or what, 6.6 uh, 6 pounds, six and a half pounds. So it went from 600 grams, which is 1.3 pounds, up to 3,000, so a five-fold increase in the amount of traction that we had. Um, and actually, this isn't really even necessary to get that. Um, so just the traction of the latex alone is enough to max out the scale and give us a five-fold increase in pushing power. So I decided I really want to see just how much force um, I can generate here. Um, I've got another scale kind of up on its side. It doesn't really like being on its side, but I did kind of a quick test. And it looks like this might work. So let's just kind of get an idea how, how much we can push against this scale. Um, so this is just with the standard latex wheels. So it was around four kilograms. Yeah, so like four, four and a half, something like that. It's kind of uh, tricky here. So let me just put the weight on there and kind of get an idea from that. So same test, but with the weight on top. Uh, this isn't really an ideal setup, but yeah, it just kind of gives me an idea. So let's see if we can go past maybe five kilograms. Seems like it's still around four. It just wants to ride up. If I push on the back of it. Yeah, so it looks like that's going to be about it. Interesting. So if anyone remembers, in the very beginning of the video, I said this. I'm not going to do too much of a deep dive into this. But I hadn't intended this video to be a deep dive. It was actually originally a little tips video where I was just gonna show you how to put on the latex and just kind of show that it was stickier and that was it. Um, but then I thought like, well, you know, it's probably a good idea to show how much stickier it is and then it just went off the rails from there. But I was actually really surprised with these results myself. I've used it and I've gone, you know, without and with, and I just didn't expect the difference to be that huge. A five-fold increase in traction is just not what I was expecting. But I will say that these do pick up a lot of dust. Um, the stickier things that you have, the stickier the wheel, the more dust you'll pick up and then you'll lose some of that effectiveness. Already it's, you know, not nearly as sticky, but I mean, it can still move the table around a little bit. So in any event, it is a really useful thing to do. This stuff is really cheap. It takes not that long to put on. There's no specialized equipment that you need. You don't need a CNC or anything like that. Um, it does need to dry. So doing this right before a match, probably just isn't going to work out but if you prep your wheels ahead of time it'll be fine or if you have you know an hour or so in between um your matches it might be fine um but yeah this was interesting and i think this video showed me that maybe i need to do some kind of little um, test setup to show pushing power you know maybe something to like hold weapons in place or you know something so i can actually get some really good push directly into a load cell or something but that is um, very interesting. Glad I did this episode. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. And for anyone using FingerTech wheels, try out some latex. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the links below. Check out the Amazon link for supporting my channel. Check out me out on Facebook. See you next time.